Hey guys, uh, today uh, we can do a teardown of this no-name smartwatch. So a little backstory. I honestly don't remember how I got this one. I think it was one of those like under ten dollars smartwatch, and I just wanted to see how it turns out. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it did work. I forgot the brand because. I'm not sure if there is even a brand. So, but it did the basic stuff like show the time, uh, show the um, yeah. No, right now it's trying to connect to Bluetooth, um, and when it worked, it did work fine. But it was awful experience just because uh, it used one of those Chinese apps that never work, and if there is an update, it crashes everything. So uh, when it worked, it worked just fine. When it didn't, it just didn't want to work. And then um, somehow I did manage to break the um, top cover of the screen, this digitizer here. So this right portion does work, left hand side doesn't. So I thought, um, let's take it apart, see what's inside and see if we can salvage some parts and use it for future projects. So um, yeah, so let's start it off. As you can see, it has three buttons here, touch screen. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, there's some openings. Uh, I guess this is uh, for a speaker, has a um, cover for a micro, uh, for a mini uh, USB port. I don't know if this is a microphone or something like that. On the right hand side, uh, there is a single button that uh, powers it on, turns it off, and then uh, wakes it out of sleep. And on the back, we have no markings whatsoever. There is just uh, one little hole, and then this is a pry hole open. This is a hole that it's probably used to open it up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through that hole. So let's see what we can actually do. Come on. All right, so it seems there is adhesive holding it in. So I'm just gonna go around and see if I can break that bond. All right, um, so yeah, it's a metal cover. Then we see these four screws that hold, hold everything in. All right, let's see. Um, this is gonna give in. Okay. All right, so I can see it's splitting up right here. Okay, that's fairly easy. All right, let's see what we got inside. So we got a, a battery, um, and we can actually reuse that for um, some of our projects. And then, okay, I believe this is a screen a ribbon cable. Wait, there is a reset button here? What does that do? Oh, the um, mini battery is 23, 230 hours at 3.7 volts. So we can definitely use that for our future projects. Uh, let's see if we can turn it on. Okay, what does that button on the back actually do? Is that a reset button? So I'm just gonna press it with my finger, let's see. Okay, shuts it off. So yeah, I guess that's like a shut off, reset button. Okay. So just press this button and then yeah, shuts it off. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, see what else would we get here. So I can't read make and model of the ship. Oh, it's MediaTek ARM CPU. Okay. Alright. Um, so let's. What's this? Is this a rumble motor? This is a combo 
Uh, speaker, microphone combo? Rumble motor? Not sure. Okay. Oh wait, here is a microphone. This is a speaker. No, this is a speaker. And this... I'm not sure. Could be a rumble motor. Okay, and then... Um, does this flip over? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's a screen cable. Okay, let's take that out. Alright. And then... Let's see, is there anything that's holding this in place? Or it's just an adhesive that does it? Hmm. Um, no, it doesn't look like there's anything holding it in. I'm gonna take out this microphone. Alright, then see if I can lift this PCB off. there is something holding it in. I don't know if it's just a um, USB port or there is something else that's actually holding it. Well, I guess there is a lot of sticky tape. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay. I see. Wait. Wait a second. Oh, this was a digitizer. Okay, so the screen is actually connected directly to the PCB. Okay. And now we can actually see some uh, some markings here. So this board was made in 2016, January 27th. Um, what else? Reset button. Okay, so these are additional buttons. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, these are USB USB pins. Test pins over here. What do we have here? Um, this is um, looks like I square C. Yeah, S D A S C L. Ground. Wait, 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 wait. I got a serial communication here. R X and T X U R X D. That's interesting. Well, what else do we have here? Um, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess. Okay, what's the model of the screen? FPC YY45 CS01A. Then, um, is this broken here? Oh, let's turn it on and see how it looks like this. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, that's a backlight, nice. Okay, it's not a bad screen, um, I mean, it would be nice if I could reuse it for something. Um, it's a cool screen, so the only part that's actually broken here is this digitizer, and I'm not sure... It's up. Hmm. We're gonna have to leave that off, won't we? Alright, let's see. Let's take it off. See what we get there. It would be nice if I could 
just load it up with some custom firmware and just use it for some other purpose maybe that's possible um, yeah we'll check that out I, I don't know if um, if I connect it to the computer it's going to be detected as a, some kind of USB device I never tried that actually so I'm going to let you know on that uh, but in the meantime let's see if we can pry this screen off so I know we should just heat it up first but it doesn't look like I mean why would I bother it's already broken so let's see if I can just try to get it to give in first and then slide in one of these tools and get it out in the meantime I'm gonna be pushing it from the other side oh wait that's already doing it yeah okay double side tape it's holding it in so let's see just gonna slide that off and it's this portion too all right let's see yeah, it's pretty broken that's actually glass cool all right what does it say here is this something that can be found it's c or 6 fpc01 that one I'm seeing here. Nothing else on the back. Markings on the chip. Hmm. Not really. So yeah, this is a wash. This is what actually broke, and it's actually glass. I wasn't expecting. Um, I was expecting plastic. This screen is so cool. I don't know if I can repurpose it for something else. I'm gonna try to see if I can load some kind of um, other software on this thing. That would be awesome. And then um, also, like since this is um, this is these are some kind of test pins. Let's see if I can actually use any of that to connect to it, and maybe use a um, putty or something like that to listen in on the boot up process we'll see anyway um yeah guys thank you for watching this video um i had a lot of fun disassembling this little thing um yeah there's pretty much just past components and then uh yeah so um i'll try to reuse as much as possible of this unit this battery is going to go to some kind of project like this um that's one thing for sure and then um, I'm gonna see if I can do something with this display and if you actually know um, if these things can be reused or um, if this can be flashed with some other software um, that actually can be used for something else that would be great as well so um, you know click down below put in a comment and then I'll keep you posted if I make anything out of this, uh, these parts and reuse them. Awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time and uh, stay tuned. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.